everybody, I'm going to show you today how to create an invisible foundation look using these two products, a serum and a foundation, as well as a pretty dense, tight um, buffing brush. This is Advanced Night Repair by Estee Lauder, and this is Adva um, Double Wear Light in 01. I wear 01. So, what you do is you take about... Well, I tend to use more than you need, but take about that much foundation. And then you take your dropper and you put, I would say about a dime size, maybe a little less, two or three drops of the Advanced Night Repair on here as well. And then you blend them together with the brush, make circular motions. It all gets up in that brush and then you just buff it on your face. My face was primed with skincare before I started this. Make sure you get all the way up to the hairline, all the way up to your ear line, your jawline. Um, so yes, my face was primed with skincare before I started, but I didn't have any um, concealer or anything on. This brush is actually from Bare Essentials, this Bare Minerals brush. It comes with the kit when you first get their starter kit. Um, whew. I don't get my eye area very good when I do this because this brush has immense fallout. Oh, it's horrendous. So there's tons of fallout all around my eyes right now. Whoa. But, and I need a better brush. Estee Lauder actually sells one that is phenomenal. And I really want their brush. It's so soft. But it's like $45. And therefore, I haven't gotten it yet. Now, what happens is, if you can see... Probably not. There's little hairs all over my face. So, what I typically recommend... <laughs> They're everywhere. Little freaking hairs from the brush. What I do is I take a powder. This is um double wear face powder. It's a little bit fuller coverage. It's not just a setting powder. Um, I like the full coverage. I like a flawless face. Um, and I take this one in Ecru, and I take it on a fluffy brush because I can then kind of brush off. the fallout of, from the brush, even though typically, the little hairs are in this brush now, typically, I mean this seems really difficult doesn't it, typically um, you want to take your powder and either use a puff or you want to take your powder like this and you want to press it, but for me, first thing I do like I said is I dust my face off with the powder because it gets out the little fallout hairs. They're really annoying when they're around your nose and your eye. <laughs> but if you get a higher quality brush and you do this technique, it's a really fast way to get your foundation on. It's a really fast way to um, get a flawless sort of airbrush look without an airbrush system. Just want to make sure it's gone. All those little fallouts. Yay! Gone. Now you might say, Stace, your face looks whiter than your body right now. Um, it really isn't. Look at my neck. It really does match. It's just the lighting. But <clears throat> the thing you need to remember is also, you put your bronzer on, you put your blusher on, you put your color on, you give yourself some contouring. So keep in mind that this is the blank canvas, so it kind of is supposed to look this way. Um, you'll notice that when I put my foundation on, some people ask, why do you wear foundation? It evens out your skin. Um, you notice when I put it on, my eyes looked a lot bluer, because uh, it wasn't competing with the redness. Um, you could see a little bit of red around the rim of my eyes more when I put my foundation on, which is typical, um, because you're creating, like, again, that blank canvas for your face. There's little fall hairs everywhere. So, 
hopefully using these products and a brush like this it's something you could try doing and getting a really quick like when you're like oh I don't want to put on my foundation with a foundation brush which is like this and you know take the time to really pat in and get it on you can just do 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 and you're done <laughs> so hopefully this was helpful and I look forward to sharing more with you soon see ya